Oh man, that was fantastic. A great ride. Brings back a lot of memories. I think I was about 10 or 11 years old and a plane flew over very low. So I jumped on my bike and rode out and sure enough he landed. So I went over and talked to him. He said, yeah, I'm giving rides, $4. So I, I had to go back home and break my piggy bank and get the four dollars out to come back and get my first airplane ride and it cemented my idea of becoming a pilot all my world war ii flying career i was in the training command instructing other students how to fly an airplane in 1951 i was assigned to flying the b-36 which at that time was the largest airplane in the world we were on call 24 hours a day and we would have been able to lift an atomic bomb into the bomb bay and then take off to bomb russia i'm glad we didn't have to drop the bomb to begin with and I'm equally glad that I was able to be a part of a Christian group, taking them the Christian witness. I was a very happy camper when I found out I could serve my God by flying airplanes. And I'd been a commercial pilot for a number of years, airline. And when I heard about the work of Wycliffe Bible Translators and JARS, that was a joy in my life to serve God by taking airplanes to the places where they were useful in the work of Bible translation. My Lord Jesus came that we might have eternal life, but he also promised us an abundant life. And I have taken him seriously on that point because I've lived life to the full. Yeah, well, at 100 years of age, you're like a man about 60. So thank you, you, have, you, you have slowed down the aging process, as you yeah. know. There's very few people past 100 years of age who can begin to keep up with you. I read a book by Dr. Kenneth Cooper, and it was a highly motivational book. I started running the next day, and I've run a little over 42,500 miles in the last 50 years. It was in Boston nearly 10 years ago now, and I broke the world record for the mile considerably. Since then, I have set 11 more for a total of 13 world records.